This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. But first, there's a fairy wonderland in our newsroom, and Two Bloom is here to show us how to recreate this magical look in your own backyard. got a little magic in today's Chicago scene. We're learning how to turn space in our own yards into a magical and healthy fairy garden. Two Bloom is back to teach us what we need to know. And this is so popular now, these fairy movies with the kids. And I love the idea. Sadly, what we did is just bought a couple of fairies and threw them in with the big plants. This is much better. You've created this little wonderland for them. Yes, and that's key is to look for these miniaturized varieties and plants and, you know, kind of like make your own um, miniature. It's like miniature landscaping basically right. and that's what really um, accentuate the size of some of these um, more um, tiny fairy decors. So can you do it in just a squared off area or in your garden or do you recommend that you put them in it, their own container? Both and the only reason why I recommend having the containerized version in these smaller um, um, areas is that you, they're mobile. You can use them as a table centerpiece. You can bring them out in the summer. You can bring them in during the winter and enjoy, you know, right. gardening throughout the, the season. Well, and they're such a talker because they're so interesting. Where do you find all the little miniaturized plants? Well, any gardener nursery, you ask one of the experts to help you, of okay. course. Um, one of my friends who's a foremost expert in sedum, he actually um, provided this, uh, these these miniature varieties for us. But, I mean, they're, they're all over the place and they're a big trend right now. So, you know, even succulents, smaller varieties, as you can see here, is a great choice for um, those gardeners that don't want to kind of slave after their container gardens or water as much. So this is a great variety oh, and perfect. choice for them. Right. So, um, and then in addition to the plants, you then you can find all of the, look at this little walkway and little yes. stools and things. The I moss. love the one over here. You've got, you've got the little fairy sleeping on the tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so beautiful. And then a difference in containers as well. Exactly. Oh. So you can use a dish garden. This is kind of like a, a more rustic, um, small miniature home that's made out of branches. So, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so we're going to put yeah. it all together. Here. Exactly. So if you want to put your gloves on, one of the key Please. features of doing a container garden, uh, well, a fairy container rice garden is, one, look for the size of containers that's appropriate for your home. Okay. Two, look for a selection of plants that's appropriate if you have full lighting or shade. So this is more shade, uh, shade uh, collection of plants here. Mm -hmm. So you look for miniature varieties. And what I like to do is I plant around the perimeter so that I leave areas where I can moss up and do a little path. Because oh, that, I see. That really kind of like, you know, adds a little punch at the end there. To give so. it that sense of it's, you know, a place where we can just explore. Exactly. And to invite the fairies in. Sure. So, um, if you will. So, We'll plant these kind of like, you can put that one right on the okay. side here. Yeah, and the idea on why fairies are so uh, popular right now is this whole sense of the, the magic of it, right? Yes, the good luck, the charm. So you could take the moss and kind of like moss up around because we want to see the least amount of soil as possible, sure. which is also key. Now in this one, would you trim this back a little bit or leave it like that? I, You know what? That I would I kept leave. moving it, thinking I That I would gonna... leave because I have a little trellis um, oh, kind of support see. here. We're going to put this in here, and we're going to tuck it over. And then, of course, you have miniature um, garden and chair sets as, around here as well. Oh, I love it. Here's a table with the fairy dust. Oh, perfect. We're going to put this actually closer on this side. And then, of course, I always do this, but... I always use my mom's spoons because they're great. Get a big <laughs> spoon and kind of create a path with the pebbles. Oh, and that's nice and colorful and beautiful. Yeah, I was about to take the walkway, but I like yours better. I like your homemade version. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's quicker. It's quicker for the kids to do. So, it's um, beautiful and Then you perfect make sure you too. water and you spritz it with water and you're good to go. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I love this idea. For more gardening help, you can visit Two Bloom at the upcoming Chicago Flower and Garden Show. It runs from March 14th to the 22nd. It's always the most beautiful and smells so heavenly. He'll be leading potting parties at the Navy Pier event. If you want more information, you can visit twobloom.com or Chicago. Chicagoflower.com and we will of course have the links on our own website at wgntv.com slash midday.